Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Got a gameplay for you guys. But first I'm going to show you guys this little mini clip. I'm going to try adding these in here and there. Just funny little stupid things that happen. Like I was tr trying to call in this uh, this kill streak. I don't even know how to say it. Gryphoon or Griefoon. I don't know what the hell it's called. Anyway, I was not paying attention to the buttons and I did not know how to fly this thing. So I was just running into the walls. And then I blew it up by shooting a rocket. So things not to do. Anyway, let's transition to the gameplay. This is a double uh, helo, double hind. Double hind, double helo, and double uh, Loki gameplay, and it's not that good, honestly. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be 100% honest. But at least I get all my kill streaks up. I was gonna just try running the high kill streaks to see what happens if, uh, if I was able to get them. And luckily for me, I was able to actually get some of these, uh, these kill streaks and stuff. And uh, I don't know. I was just giving it a try. I'm not sure if I really like them or not. It's definitely like, when you think of the kill streaks, like the higher kill streaks, you think that maybe more of a uh, a kill streak of whoring like action going on like what was I can't even remember the uh, the other one on Modern Warfare 3 with the bomb strike that was just ridiculous I freaking forgot the name go figure um, that and dogs was like a pretty epic combination you could get like 25 kills from just that but this is a little bit more finicky it doesn't seem to to have that same effect where you're able to get tons and tons of kills and I hate this more than anything the dudes that just sit back here and and, and snipe the entire time as I'm just sitting back here and picking them off at Pete. <laughs> but uh but right now um I'm just trying to figure out where these guys I got a couple long shots now look at I'm just about out of ammo and this is where it got a little bit kinky here I, I knew that that guy was hitting me I didn't want to waste that so I kind of uh try to try to choose my battle wisely if you will and the downside, this is why I might actually change um, Scavenger off and change it for the other one that lets you have full ammo to start, is because with uh, even with Scavenger, if I'm not near an enemy and I shoot him, I don't have the Scavenger pack. Also, sometimes the enemy drop doesn't drop the Scavenger pack at all, so I don't know what's up with that. So I just called in my my Hilo or my uh, Hind, excuse me, I don't even know what the heck. It's basically a attack copter from Modern Warfare 2, but but on crack because it actually drops bombs over the enemy now. Um, the only reason why I know that is because I've been the victim of that uh, many, many times. But uh, but then after this, then there's kind of like this version of uh, a chopper gunner that you guys will see um, that I'll use here in a little bit. And then the, the big one. So here's the helo pilot, which is basically uh, the chopper gunner. And so now i got to find a little place to post up so I can call in my, uh, my thing. And one thing I probably shouldn't be doing is running two copters in a row because it's just like the same effect from Modern Warfare 2 when you call in a, uh, um, a Harrier and then you call in... A, uh, a what am I thinking? Uh, a Harrier than a tact or a chopper gunner or um, an AC-130. When you did that, then it, it was kind of a pain because they would just decide to shoot down your air support. So not a wise idea to probably call in both right away. But this thing is ridiculous. This reminds you definitely of like the chopper gunner gunship from um, Black Ops. But I do like reversing backwards takes a little bit of time, which is realistic. I mean, when you kind of um, reverse, it makes it a little more difficult. Um, and you can see I just couldn't get, kill this guy right here, and then I try to back up, and I think I try to back up, and it just really wasn't working for me. But um, yeah, right here I was stuck. I couldn't figure out why I wasn't able to move back, so I just decided to move over. Um, but it does work, man. You can. I like how it marks the uh, the enemies. You see the little silhouettes of the enemies, so I'm able to kill those guys pretty easily. Uh, you can kill yourself. Don't recommend you doing it. I, I've done it many times. Uh, but I don't recommend it, and uh, you can see right here I end up dying or somebody killed me. This is where the craziness happens. So this is the first one I call in, and uh, unfortunately the, the game ends in the middle of my second one, so I didn't get to use the, the helo um, the second time. But So you can drop care packages, you can also drop a juggernaut. The juggernaut is controlled by an uh, artificial intelligence, and it's pretty damn smart. It runs around and gets you kills, especially on, on smaller maps. It's amazing, dude. I've gotten... 15 kills and even after you're out of the helo or not the helo the the loki uh, even after you're out of it the juggernaut will still run around and get you kills um, i had him get probably eight or nine kills in one of my gameplays that i'll be posting later uh with just a juggernaut running in it, around it was it was epic uh but uh the problem with this thing that i've found is first of all <laughs> i think it's hilarious that, that that it says small rod and large rod also oh yeah maybe i just noticed that my um my, uh, my dude is dead. My Juggernaut's already dead. It could be. Maybe it's because I killed him myself. There's a, probably a possibility of that. Um, but uh, but I like that it says small rod. He has, we have the small rods on the left and the large rod fellas on the, on the right. Um, nah, so it, it creates that blast radius and stuff. But you have to kind of lead with it a little bit because um, it, it strikes within that certain area. And I don't know. It's, it's kind of a pain. At this point, I'm just grabbing 
um, ammo and a, we a separate weapon. And of course, I got this little rocket. I'm actually kind of bummed that there's no javelin in this because uh, Modern Warfare was, was obviously the javelin. And check this out. This is me uh, flanking around. And I fast forwarded it to. Uh, towards the second set of kill streaks, and that little triple spray right there helped spark um, a kill streak for myself. And this is really like honestly, with with they have just a, you can like just like spawn kill these guys pretty much over at a. Um, if, if you don't have too many people running over here, they'll spawn in just right. You'll be able to to kill them and stuff. You just got to be careful when you're peeking your head out of the window and stuff over here. That uh, the thermal snipers, I don't know what the deal is, man. I always get pieced by those. Um, I'm sound horn here a little bit so I can hear that guy coming around here. But just watching over there and then watch over here, and they usually spawn in one of those two areas. Now, once my team pushes up a little bit, um, it might mess that up a little bit. So uh, just uh, just know that. But um, but yeah, I'm I'm trying to gain my kill streak up. It's tied 171 right now, and here here you go right there. They start to spawn uh, back there again, and then there's another dude just running up up here. And luckily, I was able to get him for the battle hind. The reason why I, I use the balance battle hind. Um, instead of the the other one is obviously um, because if you notice in the beginning of this video, I couldn't figure out how to control it. The, the other one is a slow little um, like uh, helicopter remote control thing that shoots rockets, and it's pretty cool. Um, it does. It feels like you get probably more kills with it than uh, some other things, but that mean the battle hind. I mean this thing was a little bit slow, and I got lucky right there and got that that kill right before I got my Hilo strike and then uh, or my, my Loki again I just said Hilo and then so I call this one in and then I don't get a call on my Hilo before the game's over um, and we still ended up losing by like two I mean I was like seriously what the heck but uh but you can see right here again the small rod large rod and the blast radius right here it says it's recharging and right there I thought I would have killed that guy it didn't happen but I hit him with a large one and it, and it did hit, so it ended up working. You can also move the juggernaut to uh, whatever location you want, but I'd recommend just being careful that you don't um, end up hitting the juggernaut um, with your own stuff and trying to hit, hit yourself. Also, uh, it drops care packages. You can command it to drop care packages wherever, so ideally you'd want to drop the care packages near where your teammates are. Um, but the only thing that I'd probably say is probably painful about this kill streak is it is too low to the ground and in order to move from flag to flag it takes a long time if there was a way to zoom out and zoom back in it would be probably a little bit better uh, but that's uh that is what it is i ended up going 57 and 9 and we lost by two points uh seriously guys that sucks but that's probably my fault because i didn't really cap for many flags but uh but anyway i just was just trying to get some of these kill streaks up and give them a try let me know if you guys want to see more gameplays with these larger kill streaks or Anything in particular, leave a comment. I always appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Um, and Chloe always says uh, subscribe for more videos. So um, there you have it. Thanks, guys.